Hey guys, it's Chris. From the disturbing case of a true exorcism to a young girl who saw her own face on a milk carton, here are 10 of the spookiest real life stories you'll never believe. Number 10, Face on the Milk Carton. Bonnie Lohman was seven years old when she visited her local grocery store and saw her own face on a milk carton. She couldn't really wrap her head around it. The black and white photo plastered on the milk carton was definitely her. It had her blonde hair and her blue eyes. She was basically looking in a mirror. So she showed her father, who actually took the milk carton home and cut the photo out of it, and then gave it to her and said to forget about it. Bonnie promised that she would never tell anyone and that was it. What Bonnie didn't know was that the man she lived with was not actually her father. As it turned out, Bonnie had been abducted when she was only three years old. And ever since, she'd been living in seclusion, hardly ever allowed outside. But while Bonnie was locked up with someone she thought was her father, her real parents were out there looking for her. And this is why she was featured as a missing child on a milk carton in the middle of the 1980s. And as a side note about those milk cartons in the 80s, out of the 200 children who had their faces printed on cartons, only two of them were ever found still alive. Bonnie would become one of those two survivors. She was discovered after carrying the photo to a friend's house one afternoon. She left the photo inside a box of toys by accident, and the family discovered the picture and they called the police. And after a whole lot of confusion, Bonnie was eventually reunited with her father. It's not clear exactly why this guy had kidnapped her in the first place, but he was apprehended, and everything turned out just fine. Could you even imagine seeing your own face on a lost person poster? What would you do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 9. The St. Louis Exorcism In 1949, something strange happened in St. Louis. A 14-year-old boy allegedly became possessed by demons. Priests who bore witness to the child's possession claimed that during the night, he would become impossibly strong. His body would distort and transform, and he would twist himself into unusual positions, as if his bones were made of rubber. He would convulse, the bed he lay on would shake, and obscene words would appear as red welts on his skin. Doctors couldn't understand what was happening, and so the Reverend William S. Bodern was called in to conduct an exorcism. And this was the exact case that William Peter Blatty based his best-selling novel The Exorcist on. William even claimed to have a copy of the official report of the exorcism. He spoke with friends of the reverend who had completed the ritual to get as much information as possible for his book. Apparently, the Roman numeral X would often appear on the boy's chest, suggesting there were at least 10 demons involved in the possession. One of the strangest things that ever happened to the boy was one night while the reverend watched him sleep. Thin lines appeared from the boy's thighs down his ankle looking like an invisible pitchfork was being dragged across his skin, drawing blood. The exorcism was apparently a huge success. The demon was finally exorcised from the boy after 12 weeks, and the kid actually went on to live a totally normal life, though all involved in the horrible affair would be scarred forever. Yikes. Would you be brave enough to try this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Disappeared The vanishing of Bruce Kremen was one of the most disturbing in history. The vanishing happened in California on July 12th of 1960. Bruce was last seen near Buckhorn Flat in the Angeles National Forest. He was with a group of 80 children from the Young Men Christians Association, playing with a bunch of kids his own age on a camping trip. But then something happened. Bruce vanished into seemingly thin air. He was only six years old at the time, unprepared to deal with any kind of survival situation. But here's where things get crazy. The group realized he was gone within minutes and began searching the area. Theoretically, Bruce wouldn't have had enough time to run away anywhere. Considering how many people were nearby and how many took part in the search, Bruce should have been found really quickly, but he wasn't. In the days that followed his disappearance, a massive search party combed the mountainous area. Everyone assumed Bruce was lost in the forest somewhere, but alas, Bruce was never found, and the search was eventually called off. It would be 10 years later in 1970 when Mac Ray Edwards pled guilty to killing a trio of children in California back in the 60s. He then requested to be sentenced to death for his crimes. And while Mac never admitted to murdering Bruce, authorities believe he may have been responsible. But to this day, Bruce's body has never been found. And since Mac Ray Edwards is now dead, it's not exactly like he can be questioned. Number 7. South Pole Poisoning the mysterious murder of a man named Rodney Marks has been unsolved for over 20 years, and the investigation is still ongoing. But there's more to this case than just a bit of murder. 
It all started on May 1st of 2000. Rodney came down with a fever, stomach pains, and nausea. And just 36 hours after he began feeling sick, he was dead. If Rodney had been back home in Australia, he probably could have been saved by doctors. Considering he was posted at the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station, there was not much that could be done for him. This is the remotest place in the world, and in short supply of medical professionals. They couldn't even do anything with his body other than keep it inside a freezer at the observatory for half a year, before it would eventually be flown back to society for an autopsy. At the time, nobody was really concerned about the autopsy. They figured he simply died of natural causes. But six months later, when the results came back saying Rodney died because of methanol poisoning, panic spread through the station like wildfire. Methanol poisoning means that somebody actually poisoned Rodney on purpose. An investigation revealed that Rodney had needle tracks in his arm, but no illegal substances in his blood. They learned that Rodney had suffered from alcohol abuse, and some assumptions were made that he may have been driven to ingest the methanol himself because of the loneliness he experienced in the South Pole. However, the other scientists at the station said that that could not have possibly been the case. Rodney was way too panicked after discovering he was sick, and it definitely was not part of an act. To this day, nobody knows who murdered Rodney Marks. There were only 49 other people on the base at the time, and investigators couldn't prove any of them guilty. Even more bizarre is that nobody had a motive. Number 6. The Ghostly Crash In England, the police received a desperate call from motorists on the A3 highway that a car had veered off the road and crashed. But when officers arrived to investigate the supposed car accident, they didn't find any traces of a wrecked car. But those who reported the incident were convinced that a car had driven off the road. After all, it wasn't like they hallucinated the crash. So the police searched more extensively and soon discovered, hidden about 20 yards away from where the crash was reported to have happened, a car twisted in the undergrowth, blocked from view. Inside the car was the skeleton of a man. According to the report from the Daily Mail, he had clearly been dead for a very long time. So the big question is, how could a skeleton have driven off the road? Obviously, nobody witnessed the accident. The car had been there for months. The driver of the vehicle was a 21-year-old man who'd been reported missing. He must have gotten into an accident, drove his car all the way through the brush so that it was impossible to see from the road, and then it sat there for months and months. But what could possibly explain the people who witnessed the crash and then phoned the police? The only thing that makes any sense, even though it really doesn't make any sense at all, is that they somehow saw a repeat of the crash, as if seeing a ghostly replay of it months after it actually happened. It's impossible and unexplainable, and yet it's kind of the only explanation. Number 5. Spontaneous Combustion On December 22, 2010, a man in Ireland died inside of his home. The circumstances surrounding his departure from the world were nothing short of baffling. According to the coroner, Dr. Kieran McLaughlin, who was involved in the case, he had never seen anything like it in the 25 years of his career investigating deaths. The victim's name was Michael Faraday, and he was discovered in his home burned to a cinder. What confused investigators was that the fire never spread throughout the house. The only damage was to Michael's body. It was completely burnt inside and out. The floor beneath his body was a bit charred and it did look like some flames may have scorched the ceiling above where he was engulfed in an inferno. Other than that, the fire never went anywhere. Police searched for the usual suspects. They tried to find an accelerant, a motive, or anything that could explain why this guy had seemingly erupted into flames for no reason. But they didn't find a single clue. In the end, the coroner ruled it as a case of spontaneous combustion. To date, this has been the only case of spontaneous human combustion ever recorded in Ireland, and nobody knows why it happened. Number 4. The Mary Celeste The story of the Mary Celeste is one of the spookiest. It was November 7, 1872. The Mary Celeste set sail from New York Harbor en route to Italy. The captain of the ship was on board, his wife and daughter were with him, and the vessel was crewed by eight seamen. But after just one month, everyone on the ship vanished without a trace. The Mary Celeste was spotted by a passing British ship on December 5th. The Mary Celeste appeared to be adrift, so the other crew went on board, and they discovered a bit of water in the hold, a missing lifeboat, and half a year's worth of food and water untouched. Nobody knew where the captain, his family, or the crew went. There was no sign of struggle. And to this day, the Mary Celeste is one of the strangest unsolved maritime mysteries ever. Nobody understands why a perfectly sane captain on a perfectly sound ship abandoned it for no reason in the middle of the ocean, not even bothering to take supplies. Some have guessed a pirate attack, 
and some have claimed the ship was besieged by a giant octopus. Some even say the crew simply vanished into thin air. Number 3. Cell Phone Stalker In 2007, three families in Washington state were left feeling like they were living inside a horror movie. These three completely unrelated families experienced some of the creepiest stalking in history. According to one of the alleged victims, Heather Kuykendall, she would receive phone calls at all hours of the night with threats of murder. The phone calls began out of nowhere, with the caller professing intimate knowledge of the families. The caller would know what the individual was wearing. They would sometimes send voicemails of recordings of private conversations, and they would threaten to kill children, pets, and even grandparents. But throughout all the terrifying phone calls, neither a motive nor a demand was ever given. The police had no idea what to do. Some claimed the families were making it all up, but that wouldn't make sense unless the families were all in cahoots with one another. But why would anyone fake something so silly? Some have blamed the violent phone calls on pranks. Some have said the police weren't prepared to deal with cyber telephone crimes. And then one day the phone calls just stopped. Nobody was ever hurt, and the torment just ended. No explanation was ever given to the poor families. Number 2. Supermarket Possession the last place anyone expects to be possessed by a ghost is in the supermarket, and yet distressing video footage has recently surfaced online showing an unknown man becoming suddenly possessed by some kind of spirit. In the video footage, the man can be seen walking through the aisle of a supermarket totally fine. It's when he passes the fridge doors and a ghostly reflection appears in the glass that the man begins to spasm. It looks as if he's having an epileptic seizure. He starts to jerk and grunt and yelp then drops to the floor and starts pulling on his t-shirt, as if trying to rip something out of him. Even more bizarre is that things around him start falling off shelves by themselves. It's an absolutely horrifying thing to see. Just keep in mind, all of this happened in just a few seconds. Toilet paper rolls burst from the shelves. Something that could have been an apparition flickered in the glass of the fridge. The man collapsed and stopped moving, and then it was all over. Unfortunately, we don't know what became of this but hopefully he's not possessed anymore. Number 1. Animals in the Walls A family in Auburn made a very strange discovery while trying to add insulation to a room in their home. It seemed like a good idea to take down the drywall and finally add some much-needed insulation to keep the temperature regulated inside their house. But when the family opened up the walls, they found dozens of animal carcasses, jars of spices and other strange items. According to the mother of the family, they've been finding animals in their walls ever since 2012. Anytime they do a renovation, there are more and more animal bones, as if someone's constructed the entire home with animal bones hidden behind every surface. From what the family can tell, the animal bones came from sometime in the 1930s. This is based on the old newspapers found along with them. The poor family bought this home in 2011 as their dream home, and they had no idea it would turn into a nightmare home. They've so far spent at least $20,000 ripping apart the walls, taking out the old bones, and fixing the place back up. Nobody knows exactly why the bones were put in the walls, though some say it could have been a type of Dutch magic believed to heal ailments. They just better hope the bones weren't put in the walls for some more nefarious purposes, like summoning the devil. So what would you do if you found dead animals in your walls? Let me know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos from the channel.